Okay, thank you. Um, we have a busy agenda here tonight with public hearings. We've got five public hearings. Um, our first public hearing this evening is the Lazy Boy Project located at 5800 Christie Avenue. Maru? Good evening, Commission. Uh, this is a project uh, where you would be considering conditional use permit and design review f to convert an existing, what used to be Good Guys uh, retail, uh, electronic retail outlet at 5800 Christie Avenue to a retail furniture store, uh, Lazy Boy. The Commission has heard this project twice uh, this year, first in February. At that time, the Commission had uh, concerns regarding uh, design, inconsistent roof line, landscaping, inadequate treatment of window space. The applicant responded, and the Commission heard uh, the project at the April uh, meeting. And at that time, the Commission had uh, concerns regarding landscape plan. They wanted, you wanted to see a complete, and, a complete landscape plan, as well as with the treatment of trash enclosure and uh, removal of external lighting system uh, that did not include up lights, or revised external uh, lighting system that did not include up lights. So uh, the applicant has uh, come back today uh, with, in your package, you would see uh, landscape plan. Essentially what they've done is uh, done a better treatment of this area right here, the southeast corner, the south, the southeast corner, where you have three uh, large or 15 gallon trees along with a number of uh, shrubberies. The southern property line is also uh, being treated with additional uh, shrubberies as well as five trellises, or maybe there's say yeah, five trellises. In addition, all this is existing landscaping, which uh, the Commission wanted to see because they wanted to see both proposed and existing. And then additional uh, treatment here with shrubberies and here with shrubberies as well as trellises. Uh, in addition, uh, in terms of design changes, they have removed the uplights, so uh, that has been removed in response to your suggestion. And they have also done a better treatment of the trash enclosure. And I'll show that to you in a minute. This is the trash enclosure, and what they've done is they've given it a stucco finish uh, with a cornice trim, so sort of to mimic the, what they've done at the roof line. So in terms of, this is your, this is the corner of Christie and Powell. It's a little bit similar. This is the north elevation. So the, um, the parking lot is right here. This is the western elevation and uh, this is the south elevation. In terms of colors, uh, this is the actual color board. It's sort of, you know, it's similar to what the color things that you have. Uh, Staff believes that uh, the applicant has responded to the various comments that Commission has and is recommending approval with attached conditions of approval in the package. If there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I did have a question about the landscape plan. Um, they're specifying 15 gallon um, for the tree plantings. Page 7 of this, the uh, conditions under um, Landscaping specifies 24-inch box. Are they going to be required to do the 24-inch box? Uh, hang on. Which I'm not opposed to. I just was curious. This is under item 7A2 on page 6 of the conditions of approval. Uh, uh, uh. 
in the last sentence on the top of page seven. That is this, this is a standard yeah. boilerplate. Right. So I'm wondering which one is, will be the in effect. The condition would govern. They, they need to, when they submit for building permit, they'll need to revise these plans to okay. show 24-inch box trees. Okay. That's what I thought. Also, on Christie Avenue, looking at the landscape plan, the two alders on the north end of the three, the three trees there are near death. That first tree, the large existing tree, uh, to the there you go, those big canopies are the trees. Yeah, heading north, those two trees are almost dead. I assume that those would be replaced as part of the required landscape improvements. The standard condition is maintenance of it. So if, if they do die, they would be replaced. I mean. Do we wait till they're totally dead, or will, as part of this improvement, they be replaced? We should specify it if you want to see it replaced at the time when they install the landscaping. Okay. Those were my questions. Um, I have one question. Uh, the landscape plan is showing the existing monument sign on Christie remaining, and the, construct the site plan shows that monument sign being removed. So if the monument sign is in fact being removed I think there should be so it may perhaps another of the smaller trees or something put in that spot because it's going to be a hole there's also another a number of other areas where it's shown as existing planting mm -hmm. where the planting really needs to be infilled there are dead spots and bare spots and we can uh, modify the condition of approval to address that but the monument sign is being removed just for clarification Buzz? The uh, sidewalk plan is shown uh, facing Christie Avenue, shows a crosswalk crossing Christie. This is the, on the landscape plan. On the landscape? Yeah. Are we still okay. That's incorrect. There's no crosswalk there. And there yeah. is none there. Uh, so therefore, anybody walking along the Powell Street side on that sidewalk wouldn't be able to connect with the crosswalk that crosses Shell Mound. Yeah. That is, that, that's that's the, an existing situation right now, yeah. There well, is a condition of approval saying yeah. that if the Public Works yeah. Department requires it, that they would be asked to put in a sidewalk. I think that it, they should be asked to put in a sidewalk. Along the Christie frontage? Just to complete the connection. Mm -hmm. I had a question about that. If Supported. that sidewalk were um, constructed, would it go within uh, within the existing applicant's property, and would that mean that some of the landscaping would come out, or would it go into you know because there's that uh, the street there sort of Turn. turns in turn there's movement. a turn lane there so would the would the sidewalk be extended out into the street or would it wipe out some of that landscape it would not extend into the street so it, it would take extend out the landscaping right. there used to be a sidewalk there I've discussed this with public works and they said there used to be a sidewalk there and it was removed when the street was widened in order to provide that turn line and if as you noted the property line is at the mm -hmm. curb so a new sidewalk would have to be on their property and it would eliminate uh, whatever existing landscaping is in that area that's relatively low landscaping, is it not? Uh, other than the dying street trees. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to see the trees replaced, but I wouldn't want to see the trees taken out. Well, we well the condition says that if the public works director requires it, then they have to do it. Mm -hmm. um, you can direct that they do it if you want to modify that condition. Or you can leave it to the public works director's discretion. That's a trade-off: trees or <laughs> sidewalk. Yeah. Well, we should open the public hearing before we yeah. discuss it. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Minor detail. The applicant is here. Uh, I'm not sure whether they want to make a presentation or not. Hello, I'm uh, Wayne Bogart uh, with TMW and Associates, uh, the owner's representative. We've built a lot of these Lazy Boy stores for him. We're it's a design build construction firm. David, again, my architect, been working on the plans. And uh, wanted to at least make an appeal on behalf of uh, Mr. Kavingadal, Don Kavingadal, who's the owner and is very 
anxious and interested um, to become part of your Emeryville community with his store and his uh, product that he brings and he's been extremely patient uh, with us and no doubt a level of getting it uh, since the good guys shut down and uh, economically it's been some impact. He's also been very cooperative with your recommendations to continue to really add cost to this project and, and yet give it a new really beautiful store and, and so we hope that you appreciate that and with the uh, with some sense of urgency, we're appealing that hopefully we've got most of all the things involved that you'd like to see, and, and uh, we know it's going to cost him more, but again, he values that location and your city as a, as a place to set up home and sell his good fine furniture, and uh, so I, and I, and I think there is, well, I guess I would appeal that maybe we we'll can continue to work with the director and also with Public Works to resolve that sidewalk. I do agree that is difficult, and it's not, but maybe there is some way, and we'd like to certainly cooperate, but those, uh, I don't think there's room for tree wells to imp come into the parking stalls themselves, and uh, yet yeah. a sidewalk maybe without the trees is, is less favorable and starting fresh and new or something. But uh, anyway, from on behalf of the owner, he just uh, he wanted me to be sure to pass on to you that uh, we're very anxious. It's been about seven months of him not having rent or and or income on the property, and again, that's not your fault. That's our problem. It's ours is to make sure we get where you want to be. So we just are, I think hopefully you can see that we've worked real hard with Miru and the group to get something acceptable to you. Thank you. Thank you. Does the architect wish to speak? Are you, are you okay? You don't, you don't have to come up here, but <laughs> it, you were sort of looking at me like I thought you wanted to say something. Okay. It's, um, uh, with that, we'll open up the public hearing. Is there any uh, person in the audience wishing to speak on this item? If so, please come forward, state your name, and sign in. Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing and bring it back to the commission. Commissioners? <laughs> well, I think the, the new color scheme is a distinct improvement over the old one. And uh, I guess my only comment is I'd like to see the sidewalk continued through. Uh, other than that, I don't have any comment. And I, and I also believe that dying street tree should be replaced as a part of it. Um, I would be willing to let the applicant work that out with the Public Works Department. I would not like to see street trees removed for a sidewalk there, but I think in an ideal world we'd have a sidewalk going along that frontage. And um, I think maybe the applicant can work with the planning director regarding resolving that little landscape issue with the monument sign. Thanks. Jim? Yeah, I, um, I, I agree that I think the sidewalk should be completed through there. People are stuck when they do come back through the alleyway north of, on the north side of Powell and forced to move back down to Shell Mound. Um, I'd like to in, suggest a modification to um, condition 7A2 landscaping plans in the uh, to insert before the last sentence which reads minimum plant sizes to insert a statement the the plan shall replace existing dead or dying landscaping and maybe this would be the appropriate place to include a reference to installation of the sidewalk and replacement of any landscaping that's affected as part of that um, sidewalk improvement. Two of those trees are near death. Um, I think one of them is probably in pretty good condition. Hopefully it can be saved. Um, but it's, I think there should be a reference in one of the conditions of approval that we'd like to see the sidewalk completed. There is a, that condition is on page 5, Roman numeral 4A1, where it says it's at the discretion of the public right. works director. Right. I thought maybe we should clarify that and just. Oh, well, you can just say uh, strike if required by the public works director. Yes. I'd like to see the sidewalk go in. Well, I guess my question is, I would like to see the, the sidewalk go in as well, but we also have a concern about the trees. and. I would suggest that, as Gail had suggested, that we leave it up to the Public Works Director because they're going to have to work it out to see if there's enough room to do it. I mean, if we, if we require it here and there's not enough room to put the, keep the trees and put the sidewalk in at, at the standard width, we've got a conflict. 
Would it be possible to make uh, several of those parking places shorter as compact spaces uh, where the tree exists or would the new tree would be put in? I don't know. I mean, that's the issue. Do we, do we want to leave it at, at Hank's discretion or do you want, want to specify that the trees, we need trees and we want the sidewalk? I mean, I don't know if, you know, I haven't seen any drawings, so I don't know if it's feasible to do. Well, well, just eyeballing these plans, yeah. um, it appears that the sidewalk that exists to the, to the south um, would fit within that existing right. area yep. without encroaching into the tree area. I mean, it might get pretty close to the mm -hmm. trunk, but you could notch the sidewalk around the trees, perhaps. Okay, well, if it's feasible and isn't going to create conflict, mm -hmm. then... Um, I'd support Jim's recommendation that the, um, if required by the Public Works Director um, under the uh, condition item 4A1 be stricken. So, okay. But you want to, you want to say then that if, uh, if it turns out to not be feasible to install the sidewalk and keep or replace the street trees, then you prefer to keep the trees? Well, two, two of the three are dead and dying. Uh -huh. I just drove, I could have taken a picture of them, but they're on their way out. So just replace, so there's probably room to replace the trees in a slightly different location and still have the sidewalk there. I'm not sure which ones are dying, but it seems to me that the first one on Christie is, is in good shape. Yeah. And, and a replacement tree could go in that planter that comes into the parking. You could just add it in there. Okay. The canopy would still kind of do the same job if it was the same size tree. Then it comes down to replacing two trees. And if that three and a half foot sidewalk fits in there with two uh, trees, then it would be nice. I think we can. Maybe okay. where the monument sign that's going to be re removed, you could have a tree, accommodate a tree there as well. So there are possibilities. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm, not I'm not suggesting we get rid of the street tree frontage. No, no. That if something has to be replaced, it be replaced in that vicinity so we still have next to the sidewalk a continuous frontage of street tree. So perhaps just set them back um, into the ivy. It looks like about eight feet there between the curb and the, and the parking lot. So that should be enough room for... Yeah. But it seems like something staff can work out. Yeah, especially if we applicant. put grates over the tree wells. Those are those are alders. Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, as long as they're irrigated, they should. Be. Okay, so put a sidewalk there and put in replace the street trees, and staff will work it out. Right. Is that? Okay. And revise the landscape plan accordingly. Yes. I just I had one other question pertaining to the architectural features, which is that I was looking in the conditions of approval for something saying that any roof-mounted mechanical equipment should be screened, and right now there's a big ugly oh, antenna that sticks up off the building, and I'm wondering whether <laughs> whether there is roof-mounted mechanical up there, and if so, is, where is it, is it going to be visible from anywhere? I think we should have a condition saying that it should be screened. Huh. Pardon me? He said that they're behind the pop-ups, that the roof mechanicals are right behind all the pop-ups, so they should be screened. We can certainly add that condition, just to make sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to. I would put that under 7A, design conditions. Okay, good. And if there are no other comments and I'll make a motion to approve with the revisions. Charlie, do you want to go over, or Maru, do sure. you want to go over the revision, suggested have, revisions? Go over that, James. Okay. We are adding a new condition, 7A3, regarding screening of mechanical equip equipment. Uh, we are modifying uh, condition 4A regarding the sidewalk on the Christie Avenue. We are striking, if required, by the Public Works Director and just stating the applicant shall construct a public sidewalk 
and with a uh, language that would ensure that uh, the trees be trees and or landscaping be replaced uh, if if the sidewalk entails removal in addition uh, we'll be making modification to the landscaping condition under 7a2 uh, and make mention of uh, the monument sign and that that area be replaced with landscaping as well as um, replace well I, I, I guess they the tr the street trees would be covered in the sidewalk uh, condition and replacing any dead or dying dead landscaping or on the site also right. right and and also as the condition says the uh, we don't have to change the condition for this, but the trees would be 24-inch inch box. box. Good. Okay. I hear a second. A second. All right. Ready for a vote? We're ready. Commissioner Cardoza? Aye. Commissioner Donaldson? Aye. Commissioner Flores? Aye. Uh, Vice Chair Martin? Aye. Chair Jeffrey? Aye. Five eyes. The application is approved. This decision is appealable to the City Council within 15 days. Congratulations. <laughs> Finally. Okay.